Hey everybody on the Stove Forum, this is Naughty. I want to show you something that I'm experimenting with uh, with my Svei 123R. When I bought this on eBay, I didn't realize that the windscreen was missing the heat shield. So if you look down into the windscreen, you don't see that normal horizontal disc, which acts as a heat shield to prevent too much reflected heat, I assume, from getting down to the tank and overpressurizing the stove. So what I've uh, done here is I've try to find an alternative to that uh, brass plate and what I've come up with is carbon felt. I took a disc, uh, cut it to the size of the uh, windscreen and then all I simply do is place it on the stove like so. A little hard to do one-handed. And then um, what I'm going to try to do here is put the screen back on and see if she lights up and works properly using this technique. It's about uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit here in New Jersey as I'm filming this. Okay, windscreen's in place with the heat shield down on top of the tank. I'm going to prime it with some alcohol. Let's see how we do here. Probably should get a different bottle because it's hard to get the alcohol in there in this situation. Hopefully she'll light up. Okay, there we go. Priming has started. Let's see how she does. This carbon felt is uh, the kind used by plumbers as a heat shield. And most stovies recognize it because it's commonly used in... Um, homemade alcohol stoves for backpacking and such. So I'm going to let this uh, get good and warm before I open the, uh, the valve and, and get the white gas flowing. As I said earlier, it's uh, I think probably 15, well it was 15 degrees earlier, but now we're approaching sunset, so it might have gone down a bit. And that's Fahrenheit. One concern with this approach is that the felt itself is actually shielding the tank a little too much at this stage from the um, alcohol for, for the preheating and the pressurizing. But we'll see. The stove was out in the cold all night, so everything here is uh, quite chilly. Burning a lot longer than I expected with the felt. As you can probably see in here, there's a good bit of wind out here. Let's give it a little test. Sure enough, it's burning. Even with the alcohol still burning below and interrupting the airflow, I'm not getting the flaring I would have expected. That's a good sign. There we go, Svei 123R, using a carbon felt um, disc as the heat shield for a windscreen that was unfortunately um, 
came, came to me missing the heat shield. I'm not going to experiment with pots right now, but I will eventually put some pots on there and keep monitoring the temperature of the tank to make sure uh, things don't get too hot. But I pretty much expect this, this method to work. Love that roar! This is Naughty signing out.